Well, it's Saturday. Took a whole day, but the raid is complete. Uh, it's done initializing. I added another three drives on the right. Still haven't done the SATA yet. So I am uh, rebooting the server that is connected to it through a dual fiber card. And uh, I'll show you what's going on. So after you reboot it, my iTunes library here, let me get that out of the way. Um, when you reboot it after initializing the RAID, you're gonna get this disk uh, insertion. So you'll use disk utility and you'll see this pop up in a second. Okay, so here's all my drives. Blah, 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 blah. Here's the, uh, the EXO RAID. And what we're gonna do is a normal partition. One partition. Um, for this one, I'm going to go into options and make sure it's Apple partition map. Because this is a G5, I could use GUID, but I'm just gonna use what I use. And I'm gonna call this San, because I like that name. And a partition. Now it's partitioning. And I'll show you something neat. There's those utilization light up lights I was talking about. There we go, see them? And that, uh, there's two of them, one for the left side, one for the right side, for, uh, you can see it's formatting the drives now, for utilization. And, uh, the higher you go, the more it's supposedly in use, I don't know. There's a left side and a right side, um, you can't get all 14 drive bays to work as like one super disk. It's split into seven and seven. So right now these seven over here are all 500s, they're IDE. Uh, the three on the right are just 120, I think an 80 and a 40 that I had lying around. So this is still, still formatting. It's about three terabytes, 2.73. And once it, once it gets formatted, you will see it appear as a little Xserve RAID icon. That's pretty neat. And then you can just use, you know, if you want to create a share, use Server Manager. And, excuse me. And make yourself a new share. Now this is a uh, Leopard server. It's old, but it runs my iTunes library for my Apple TVs and Plex server um, that runs off another Intel Mac. So this looks like it's gonna take forever and a day to format even though it was already formatted. Oh, well there we go, check it out. Just happened as I was saying it. Okay, so here it is. I don't know why it's not showing up yet. Doing something. The activity's freaking out over here still. Mm -hmm. I'm literally doing nothing on the server. And it is busy, busy, busy. So I'll just wait a second and see what's going on. So I'm just remote desktoping using Apple Remote Desktop. Let's see what's going on. Sees it. Oh, now it shows up. Okay, so check it out up here. That is a little Xserve raid. There we go. She's online. So what I'll do is I'll go into one of my other directories here. I'll just 
copy something. Something big, like my 3DO ISOs. Boom. So I'll start the copy. That way you can see it really starting to roll. And it's, you know, it's nothing extravagant speed-wise. It's a dual 2 gig connection um, to the uh, the Exerve RAID. And it has like a 10 foot cable. So I have one fiber cable, two fiber cables below here, and then a ethernet and an ethernet here, power on each end, and that runs down to the back of the server on this uh, Apple fiber channel, PCIX card. And it came with everything, it came with the cards and the the uh, cables and everything. So yeah, there we go. So a uh, copy and 11 gigs is gonna take about an hour. So, like I said, not the fastest ball of wax, but I've always wanted one and I think they're great. A little noisy, but these things were 10 grand when they first came out. And this was 2006, 2000 to 2008 era. Um, I really wish they would have made a SATA version. Well, they did, but they never released it because old Steve Jobs killed the whole Xer project. Um, hopefully they'll bring it back one day. So anyway, that's it. Uh, Xer raids online. A little slow, but it works. I'll load this thing up with stuff later. I don't need to copy data that I already got. I want to move some other stuff to it. So I'll let it run for a while make some shares on it and then uh that's it till next time guys thanks for watching